out there in TV land. This is Dr. Steve with another video. <laughs> I'm a big Honeymooners fan. Um, what I'd like to talk about in this video is my filter um, from my aquaponics system. Now, this filter could be used for a pond application, hydroponic, uh, uh, or an aquaponic system. Um, basically what I have here is a Rubbermaid Roughneck Tote. I'm bringing in two inlets using electrical conduit fittings, three-quarter with number 18 O-rings. And I'm going to, instead of buying uh, large, bulk, expensive bulkhead fittings, I decided to run individual outlets for each one of my grow beds. So if I open this up, I made this so it's fully serviceable. What I have here is uh, pinky filter uh, material. It's got a coarse and a fine layer. So the water will come in to these tubes and you can see I drilled holes in those tubes and if I pull these out I hope to get nice even distribution through the filter media you know using this contraption but we'll see how it goes once I fire it up if I remove the pinky material I have here a, an old bottom from a, a tray from the supermarket which is being thrown out. And here I have a soda bottle container. This is my uh, overflow, which is important to have in case the filter clogs up. I have an overflow to prevent the filter from, from spilling over the top. This is inch and a half PVC with holes drilled in it and I put it in here and it's fully adjustable up and down. Um, this here is uh, again a, a beverage holder which I found at the supermarket they were throwing out it because it was cracked. I had to make several modifications to it to accommodate my uh, plumbing inside of this here uh, filter. And then as you can see these again are my inlets. These are my five outlet tubes which go down into a one of the small carry totes that you can get at a supermarket. Just find one that's cracked and they're probably going to be throwing it and taking it out of service and throwing it away. Um, inside of here I have two gallons of bio balls and then of course uh, these here outlet tubes go down into the bio balls uh, which are housed by this here tote and the water will come out into each outlet. Um, so putting this back together, you can see this fits in nicely. Then a little bit of extra support added for uh, my filter media. My overflow tube. My overflow tube goes into the bio balls, my outlets, all five outlets draw water from the mineralization area, and then I have my pinky material, coarse facing up, fine facing down, and then my inlet pipes so the water will pump in from the clarifier it'll flow in travel through my filter media down into my bio balls and then out of the outlet tubes and uh, I may or may not screw this cover down probably not I don't think it's necessary so that completes the video for my uh, my filter for my aquaponics system. I hope it was educational and helpful. 
Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe um, and uh, stay tuned for uh, more videos. Uh, once I uh, get the system uh, up and running, I'll be detailing all of my uh, plumbing and I'll do another video, uh, a follow-up video to show how my clarifier and my filter is working um, at that time. So uh, have a nice day and thanks for watching.